He's defeated monsters, conquered the power of a god, and also has learned to move without moving. He is Son Goku. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Snook, and today we are going to take a look at the brand new SH Fig Arts coming from Tamashi Nations in the Dragon Ball Super line. That is the new updated Ultra Instinct Goku. In this video, guys, we're going to take a look at everything he comes with, how much he is, where you can get him, and also there's a happy surprise bundled inside this figure that we will talk about in the very end. So if you want to figure out what that special item is when you order this figure, stick tuned to the end of the video. Well, guys, taking a look at the very first photo of Ultra Instinct Goku, here he is, guy. He looks great. I think that silver hair is the first thing to me that pops out and looks really, really good. The sheen looks cool. The texture looks really interesting. And just the battle damage he has from his top of his head down to his feet. He looks like he's deep in the tournament of power and going up against Jiren. Guys, this figure I know is going to be a big hitter with a lot of collectors. In this photo, we just got the two fists. And of course, he's got the closed eyes. This is him calming down and giving himself into the Ultra Instinct ability. I think this face could also be used a lot for meditation and stuff like that. And we don't really have closed eyes or relaxed faces. This is very, very unique that they're adding something normal and not just the standard faces like the yelling and grimacing and all those other faces we're used to. Taking a look at the very first action pose of Ultra Instinct Goku, the first thing that pops out to me is that hair. It's really awesome that we're getting molds that are going to incorporate more of the action base. This seems like it's going to be more and more of a new trend going forward. We're also going to get not just the standard hair like we usually get in every one, but we're going to get some action posed moldings. I think that's really inspiring for Tamashi to take that risk and step forward and try something new. Even if it doesn't work, they can learn and grow from this. The fact that they keep pushing the bar forward and giving us new stuff is very, very awesome. And I'm very proud of Tamashi for taking that risk. Now, deep diving into this photo, guys, the one thing other than the hair is the new faceplate. The fists are going to be exactly the same as the previous photo so nothing new there but he's got that typical grimacing face like i was saying before these are the face plates that we're expected to get in these figures and not that i'm disappointed but it's just something that i believe that needs to check the box even though it's not the most exciting thing Getting more action poses in these promotional photos is very, very important. And why that's important is because we get to see every single thing that these figures are gonna come with. Just like in this photo here, guys, we get the yelling face. We get to see more of that hair mold and also his Kamehameha hands or Kamehameha, however you pronounce it. Let me know down in the comments below. How do you pronounce Kamehameha or Kamehameha? Now, the one thing I wanna point out in this photo outside of the faceplate and the hands, which are pretty typical what we get in these figures is going to be just the look of it in my opinion for some reason this picture makes it look weird just the way his head and articulation looks it just looks like his neck is very elongated am i just being nitpicky here or does this not represent the quality that tamashi usually does those previous photos we took a look at look really good this one just kind of looks goofy i don't know it's the proportions to his neck the side of him just looks odd but everything else from neck down looks fine even the face and the hair looks fine it's just the elongated neck this looks really really weird and i hope this one promotional photo does not represent the quality or what this figure is going to be now getting into some awesome fighting poses here's goku standing you can see better articulation than the lower half nothing really surprising here even though it's not surprising. These are the things that I want to see. I want to see what they're doing. Is is it the same articulation that we're expecting in the lower half and the upper body and the butterflies? Or is there something new? To me, at quick glance, it doesn't look like anything is new. Again, we get those two fists. And of course, we get the serious face. We're back to the original hair place. So it doesn't look like there's really a lot going on with this figure, but looks really awesome. You get a better look at how tattered he is from the turn of power just by looking at the scuff marks on his chests his arms the gi is torn to shreds on the lower half the midsection and also going down his left arm as well there's a lot of battle damage going on with this figure and i think it is really awesome that tamashi is opening the doors for people to add another ultra instinct goku to their collections if they happen to miss it the first time taking a look at the next photo guys it's just him in the kamehameha form looks really really cool we get those kamehameha hands 
hands again and of course we get that serious face but this time he's looking to the side looks really dope and this is what i hoped that the figure would look like and really be able to do putting those hands together because of the butterflies is really really important when it comes to goku because you want him to be able to perform his signature move the next photo is just him doing a high kick this is very rare for tamashi to put these photos out where you actually see the back of the figure and this is very interesting to see because looking at his back you can see all that battered damage you get to see the back of his neck and really is exposing every single thing that's going on with this figure which is a really nice sight to see now taking a look at the last photo of goku before we get into the special additive into this package is going to be this goku right here he's just standing there he looks menacing so so far breaking down the figure it doesn't look like we get very many hands i've noticed the fists and the kamehameha hands the relaxed face the serious face the serious face looking to the left and also the grimacing and yelling face so i think we have more face plates than we do hands maybe there's more hands in here that they haven't shown but they're usually really good at showing exactly what's coming in the photos now according to the product breakdown we do get three types of hands and four expressions now guys the special surprise that is going to come with this ultra instinct goku is going to be the dragon ball sh fig arts encyclopedia this thing looks fantastic i am really interested in this product because of this book now this book is going to be 144 pages covering over 170 sh fig arts products just taking a look at the promotional photos that they have right here i love the fact that we're going to be able to flip through and really use this as a counter for what we have in our collections or other things that were mocked up that were shown before taking a look at the promotional photos here guys it shows like the legendary goku as an example here and actually shows the details right down here it actually shows that there was a world tour in 2023 only variation of this figure so it's not going to be 170 including all the variants i think they're going to do this where if there's a variation of a previous release they're going to put a little snapshot in it just like this i really hope that this is the way it's going to go because we are accustomed to anime fighting games where they tell you there's going to be 50 100 150 characters but in those games there's like 10 to 15 versions of each main character so it really does limit the roster down more than they what they say at 100 or 150 characters so even if you're not a dragon ball super fan this is something that you probably want to jump on board on because it is a very very cool exclusive book that you can get while getting this figure even though i usually don't get dragon ball super i will be getting this bundle for that book i really think this is a really cool book to have for an sh fig arts collector and i personally want this bundle for that book so guys let's dive into the information that you probably have been waiting for the price and also where we can add ultra instinct goku to our collections and also snag that encyclopedia this bundle with goku and the encyclopedia is going to be bundled together through premium bandai yes i know a lot of people out there are not happy about premium bandai and if you do not know about premium bandai and you've been part of my channel for a while you already know it so i won't spend a whole lot of time on this but premium bandai is a website that is exclusive to japan and also the united states you can go to this website at p-bandai.com here in the united states and you can go to this website and pre-order this figure bundle i'll leave a link down in the description below so you can pick up this bundle for yourself just to let you know that is an affiliate link right here on the channel we are affiliated with p bandai but if you do not want to get this bundle from p bandai i'm sure other retailers like big bad and stuff will get it later just to let you know they will come in an increased price and just to let you know guys this bundle the ultra instinct goku and the book is going to come together for 80 us dollars yes this guy is very expensive but you think you're getting a figure and you're also getting a book these books usually retail from 25 to 35 dollars usually depending on how the quality is of the paper and the back it could be more closer to a 40 or 50 dollar book so i really do think with the book combined with the figure that this is an okay price it's just unfortunate for me because i'm not a dragon 
Ball Super Collector. I usually just mainly get Z and other lines because if I did Z and Super and Dragon Ball on all of them, I would not be able to branch outside the Dragon Ball franchise. And that, as an anime fan, is very important to me. And I really do not need Ultra Instinct Goku in my collection. So right here on the channel, I am going to give away my Ultra Instinct Goku. If you want to figure out how to get your hands on this giveaway or enter the giveaway, you'll want to follow me both on YouTube and Instagram so you can figure out all the details you need to know to enter the giveaway. That giveaway information will come out in March of 2024 when this figure releases. Well, guys, until then, if you did not know, Mecha Frieza is coming out to the SH Fig Arts line. Click on this video right here to figure out how to get your Mecha Frieza. Also, YouTube will think you like this video. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I have been Snook. I'll see you in the next one.